Uh, we had a question. Someone asked, why do you prefer a land contract, selling a, on a land contract as an exit strategy as opposed to a lease option? Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you exactly why. My first, I know you love that. My first 11 years as a real estate investor, um, I sold or exited houses primarily with lease options. And I'll tell you what uh, 10, 11, 12 years of doing that taught me. Now, we also did Section 8 rentals. Uh, we flipped and sold for cash, sold retail. We did lease options and we did seller financing. What I learned was that if I, if I sell a, a buyer a house on a lease option, I'm going to get a much smaller, let's just call them down payments. They're op okay. Technically they're option consideration. They're not a down payment. Uh, I'm going to get a much smaller amount up front. Uh, I'm probably going to get a little bit lower payment. I know what all the courses tell y'all guys. Okay. Uh, you can command this, the super high rent rate, uh, and all that stuff. They'll take care of all the maintenance and, and everything else. But let me tell you about reality. Okay. Reality is if I sell a house on a lease option, I'm going to get a smaller uh, upfront money down payment. Uh, I, I may get market rent a little bit higher, but it's not going to be several hundred dollars a month over market rent. That's just not true. People aren't going to pay that. Uh, I mean, maybe a, a, every once in a while you run into a super, uh, uninformed individual, but nowadays with everything that's on the internet, all the access to things and what people pay, they're just not going to do it. And then that maintenance that they're going to take care of when they're in the house, uh, no, you're going to get to do something called deferred maintenance when you take that house back. And that just means stuff that should have been fixed that wasn't fixed. And you're going to have to take that down payment that they gave you a year or two before and fix all that stuff. Uh, my best uh, guesstimate there, about 80% of the people I put in a house on a lease option aren't going to fall through. As opposed to the people that I put in on a land contract, uh, the people that I put in on a land contract, I'm typically going to get double what I would have got up front. And I'm also... Uh, 80% of those people are actually going to refinance or stay. And I can get higher than market rents there by the time I factor in taxes, insurance, other things. We can typically, typically get one to $200 a month more than we could get for rent. So that's why I prefer selling a land contract or selling with true seller financing over uh, a lease option. I, I want to sell that house. So I don't want it back. And I certainly don't want it back with stuff I have to fix. Uh, yes, I know there are some financial advantages. You can continue to depreciate the property, but you are going to have to recapture that. Okay. That's a short term offset on your income. You are going to have to claim that at some point. Hey guys, thanks for watching. While you're here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out these other great videos and podcast episodes.